Okay, guys, this is a tour of the Nintendo DSi just for people who want to buy it and want to know what it's all about. Anyway, we turn it on. This is the on button here. Note that it's no longer at the side. It is just this big button right here, which I think is easier. It also acts as a home button, so if you're in the middle of the game, you can just press that and it'll just go straight to home instead of turning it off. So that's quite useful. Just tap the screen to continue as usual. If you get this the first time, there's going to be a startup thing before you get up to all, all this stuff. That's me. <laughs> I see it's got a range of stuff that it comes with it. There's the um, system settings. If we go into that. Here we have the data management. And as you can see, if it turns to the side, it has an SD card slot. If we just an SD card slot right there, so that can put your SD cards in, give it extra memory, which works great on the um, internet, if you want to download the internet for free off the shop, which I'll show you later. There's wireless communications, this is where you can turn it on or off, so if you see the little yellowy orange light over there, that's the Wi-Fi light. If you turn it off, and press OK, See, the light is gone. That means the wireless communication is off. Let's turn it back on. The brightness settings, y'all know that's from the last DSL, last DS even. The profile, date, time, and alarm. The profile is basically your U username, which is I chose Polar Pledge, and that's my message that I put in, my birthday, and the alarm is, um, so it's an alarm so you can wake up in the morning. Parental controls, that's where you set up your pin code and all that. Touch screen is where you calibrate the screen. Mic test, you were speaking to the mic and it shows you how sensitive it is. The internet is where you set up your wireless connections. So if you have a a wireless router anywhere in your house, you can set, set it up so you have the internet on it. Language, you all know what that is. Country, uh, that's that's way 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 you are. System update, like you have on the um, Nintendo Wii, you can update the system. The my version is 1.4. I've updated it recently. And format system mem memory. To be fair, I don't know what that does. If anyone has any idea what that does, just put it down in the comment section below. Thank you. If we go back to the menu. If we can continue, that, all these tools that I've downloaded off the shop, you can all get that on the DSi shop. That's a game that I've got got in. Now the camera, we'll get to that later, but what I really want to show you now is the shop. Now, there's a little thing there where it tells you how strong the connection is. If it's green, then you're okay. If it's yellow, then you're fine, but you might want to get nearer to the roof router. But if it's red, then there's no connection, so you have to sort that out. If, uh, this does take a while. See, there's lots, lots of games on here. Actually, some new games since when I last went on here. See there's loads of new games that it comes up straight up from the start men menu, but if you press start shopping, you, you can go to different categories. It goes to um the um, menu. It's a bit like the Wii. That it says DSI wear instead of Wii wear. And if you press the DSI wear, it comes up with a menu of um prices, like category. So there's free there's 200, which costs 200 points. There's 500 gifts, eyewear stuff, and there's premium, which is 800, I think. Yeah, everything's 800 or over. Or 500 or over, probably. Anyway, if we click the free,
See, I've already downloaded all there is to be downloaded for free. There's the Flipnote Studio and the DSi Browser. That is all for free. Too bad they haven't got any more, but I'm guessing they will in the future. Anyway, so go back. There's lots of other stuff. It's fun. It has the same kind of interface with the menu and all that, so quite easy to use. All you have to do is click on the thing that you want to down download, agree to everything, and then you're on, on your way. Now, if we go back to the menu, press the button down properly. When you get a new one of these, the menu, the menu button slash power up button is quite hard to press. So you have to firmly press it, but be careful not to press it too hard or you break it. Well, that's part one done, because um, I'm about to run out of memory on this thing, so I'll come back for part two.